Hello friends, following my last post, a couple of you had asked me about the squid obturation technique. So let me explain that in this video. Basically the squid or the rapid flow obturation technique involves directly injecting the molten gutta percha in the canal following the placement of sealer. And this technique is done without the use of master cone gutta percha. So to do this technique, we need the down pack unit or the colloquially used term is the obturation gun with which you can inject molten gutta percha into the canal. And also we need a good set of hand pluggers, preferably nickel titanium. So I use these Buchanan pluggers which are available in three sizes and they come with the nickel titanium tip. And here is the demonstration of the technique. We first place the sealer in the canal and following this we do not use any gutta percha or the master cone. We directly inject the GP. First, we inject a little amount of GP for the apical third condensation and you can see that we don't preferably need to inject the GP in the middle or apical third of the canal. The GP can be even injected just in the coronal third and later taken to the apical third with the corresponding plugger that reaches the apical third and condense nicely to first get the apical fill. And following this, the rest of the canal can be filled in one shot, again with the injectable GP. So one of the advantages of this technique is that it takes up the apical ramification especially really well. And whenever we have blocks or apical ramifications or ledges that cannot be bypassed, we use this technique. So this technique can be done with any sealer. And you can see here I'm using the bioceramic sealer and following which the steps are going to be the same. We just inject the GP and start packing the apical third first and then fill the middle and coronal third together with the same injectable gutta percha. So I predominantly use this technique whenever I have apical ramification deep splits where placing master cones separately for each of the apical split can be a nightmare and you can see this extreme ramifications where we have filled all the ramifications with just the squid or the rapid flow technique another example for the apical ramification that's filled with the rapid flow technique so also i use this technique whenever we have ledges or the instruments in the apical third where we are not able to retrieve or bypass them then we use a lot of irrigants in the ultrasonic mode to bypass it first with the irrigant and then followed by a squid or rapid flow obturation technique which can bypass these ledges or the small instrument fragments and can i use this in any case well to do this squid or obturation technique we need to have a coronally at least white canal we need to have an at least coronal white canal and you cannot use this technique in extremely narrow canals or i would say it's very difficult in such canals. So the next question that may arise is, does this extrude the GP or sealer beyond the apex? So it does not happen when it is used in the clays with a mature or a closed apex. So the only contraindication for this obturation technique is when you have an open apex or resorption in the root. Thank you and hope this video was useful. See you all soon in our next video.